uh, thank you for joining this call or if you are watching this video anywhere uh, we are going to go through a process we going to use in ERP to create a bulk payment entry um, that will be uh, of a trip uh, these delivery notes have already been created on or against uh, sales invoices so the sales invoices are created they are in unpaid status so we are supposed to create payment entries against those sales invoices then it will transition the sales invoice to paid the delivery note to paid and the sales orders to paid so we are going to start so the trip we are considering uh, it's already copied on clipboard uh, now the first thing is we are going to download a report for delivery notes uh, then we shall download a report for the sales invoices we shall combine the two reports create a payment entry and um, finally we shall look at the status uh, as it changes so we are, we are going to open um, a customized report which is KUG but uh, if you watching this and you don't have this access to that report you can open just a delivery note report so this is the customized report i uh, will cancel the grouping first so uh, this is the trip you are going to work on so you can copy the trip wherever you have got it from paste it here as a filter so i can just first look at the group uh, workflow state when I group this, it shows me that I have 50 deliveries in delivered state, nine are canceled and uh, two are rescheduled. So I'm only going to deal with the 50 which are delivered. So I can cancel this. I will have to download this. So that is export and I will export everything. So uh, this, is a dn report i will paste the trip name i'm downloading that to my downloads then the next thing i'm going to download i'll leave this open i'll duplicate i'm going to download now sales invoices uh, still we have a customized report that is kug sales invoices uh, when I open this, I'll make sure that I leave it draft. Uh, this time, I'm not going to filter this by trip because sales invoices cannot be filtered by trip, but I'm going to filter by the market such that I get a few deliveries I can deal with. And when I look at these deliveries, the date when they were delivered, um, anyway, it was 1st to, to, to 2nd of Feb. Uh, so I'll come here. I I don't want anything that is approved. I can add another filter of date. I want a date between first and today. Then that today is second. Then I want <coughs> a territory from only Naluko Longo. Naluko Longo and apply. So I'm going to download all these sales invoices. Uh, not filter because I don't know exactly the sales invoices I need. So I will download this report also to my downloads. And yeah, it is somehow having a lot of sales invoices. We shall leave it open. So the next thing is uh, the template. We already have a template. Okay, this is the SI report. I will SI with the delivery you know, just in case I need to look for it. Now I will go to my template. I'll open this is the template. So uh, as you're watching this video, if you are to do the bulk import, you must be aware about this template with all the mandatory columns. So I'll make sure that I first remove all what is there. So what I'm going to begin with is the date is today. I need it. So all this, I'm to get it from the new reports I've downloaded. 
so I will remove all these. Now we begin with party. I'm going to open the delivery report. Uh, we'll also open the sales invoice report. Sales invoice report. So all my reports are open. Uh, we start with the delivery report. What do I need on the delivery report? Uh, the first thing I'm going to remove all what is cancelled and rescheduled. So I want to remain with delivered. So all this is none of my business. I will have to delete it off. There we go. Uh, so I remain with only delivered. So which columns do I need? Uh, checking this, I need the party and the customer. Uh, that's the party name and the party code. So party name and party code here, there. I'll make sure that I'm starting with on the first row. Copy this as how it is. Uh, take it in the template. Just paste this here. Then the next is uh, the payment reference. So the payment reference we are using the delivery note. It's so much vital. Just begin when you're taking that up. Then the amount allocated is the delivery amount. So this is the amount you are taking. Uh, make sure that you don't have the totals there. Uh, there we go. So the same amount uh, amount paid then here on amount paid company currency it's the same received it is the same and amount received currency is the same then when we come also to the amount allocated it is going to be the same then i'm going to pick uh, the driver and territory so we start with the driver actually driver and territory you can just copy one because they are the same so i will have the driver and territory here so this is it here we go so the two run up to the end so uh, this is supposed to be now colongo only then uh, the next thing is the sales order uh, here we pick the sales order there we go and uh, the next now the ID payment reference is left blank the type of uh, payment this is sales invoice make sure that it is the right spelling you can always go and get it from the previous uh, templates you have had uh, we can first save this template as uh, we give it a delivery you now this is to upload okay I can call it this way that's to upload and I save this in my downloads so what I want to do I want to open the previous payment entry we want to have this name that sells invoice I'll just copy it as how it is then have it here so it is the same spelling run this one down remember it runs up to the end uh, then uh, the name this is going to be the sales invoice so how do we pick the sales invoice then all these other details are the same so all those details will run the same so I'll select that up to the end pressing a shift control D and there we go now what we are pending with or what is remaining is the sales invoice how do we pick the sales invoice here we go now we go to our sales invoice report this was delivery note i no longer need that uh, the sales invoice report which is this the only two things i need is this and the delivery note so i will copy these take them to my report somewhere aside paste them there Actually, if you are to use VLOOKUP, this one has to come first, delivery note. Now, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. Uh, I'm going to look up uh, the delivery note number to pick the sales invoice. 
remember here i downloaded sales invoices for that market for the two days so uh, i don't mind whatever came uh, as a transaction what i made now is picking out what i need for my delivery note so i'll use vlookup just begin uh, we are looking up the delivery note so it shall select the first one comma what is the table array select the two columns comma and we need the second column because this is the second we need the sales invoice comma we need exact that is false which is zero close parenthesis and enter so here we are picking our first sales invoice uh, you can run this up to the end by double clicking so there we go so there is a sales invoice that is missing so we shall remove this because we need we shall do it separate uh, so for now I'm going to copy this and paste values so I'll copy that and paste values meaning that I have removed the formula why am I doing that copying and pasting values you select all of these copy and paste values to remove the formulas then you can go ahead and delete the other data you brought now this is a well finished uh, uh, payment entry I'm going to remove this delivery note uh, because actually I can copy it and put it somewhere So here I uh, will have that. Go ahead and delete. Now this is my payment entry that is ready for upload. I'll go back to ERP. Uh, go to uh, payment entry mode. Uh, import. Data import. I create a new data import. I'm creating a payment. Uh, entry I will do insert new records I make sure that I submit after importing this and I save so when I save the entry but I haven't up, uh, up attached a file so I will attach a file which I've already saved in my downloads here is the file no 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 it is this to upload and open I'll do upload so make sure that you check the validation if there is no any there is no any there is no any error uh, errors so we don't have any errors everything is good everything is in green then i'll go ahead and start importing so as this is importing i'm going to